Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna go over how to recover from a binge. Get this guy out again, don't even use it, but it makes me feel comfortable. How to recover from a binge. Now let's just, facts, everybody screws up their diet at some point. I do, you do, I will again, and you will again, okay? But we need to know that just because we have an off day, it doesn't mean that it's over and the diet's gone and let's have an off week and let's just get back to it next year, I'll start in January. No, okay? We can always recover from a binge. First things first, if you look at my awesome graph here, total calories here, we're at 1500 calories per day, Monday to Sunday, okay? And we can see this person, let's say Max, for example, Max has absolutely sent it on a Saturday night. We're talking espresso martinis, burgers, ch chips, everything. It's, it's a disaster, okay? 3,000 calories. So, as you can see, we have a deficit of 1,500 across the week, and we shot up here. Now, it's easy to think, you know what? I've blown it, oh, the week's over. But there's so many ways we can recover from this, okay? And I'm gonna go over that now. Remember, it's okay to fall off track. Everybody falls off track, right? So, first things first, we think about, if you have a bad Saturday, it's really important that you try and pull it back on Sunday. We're looking, although this is 1,500 calories and 3,000 calories, you need to look at calories over the week. We're looking at the weekly average. If you're trying to lose body fat, a good target is about 1% of your body weight a week, 0.8 to 1% per week, okay? This is going to destroy that average, but there's multiple ways we can recover from this, okay? First things first, the issue with, with a binge is it tends, to, like with alcohol, is it tends to lead to a terrible Sunday as well, where it's quite hard to actually hit, hit. let's say this person's, this might not be your calories, let's say max me, my calories are 1500 per day in my fat loss phase. Don't worry about where my cardio training steps, whatever, okay? Now, the most important part to know is that we can recover from this, okay? If we keep it like this, we may not lose any body fat, we may stay the same, we might just lose a little bit, but there's ways around it, okay? You'll see people starve themselves, 48 hour fast, and all these really aggressive kind of ways to, to kind of make up for it. Try not to get too extreme. I'm gonna take you through a couple of simple ways that we can pull back after a binge. Firstly, Let's say I'm 80 kilos, 80 kilos, 79.8, 79.6, 79.4, 79 kilos. Let's say I was 80 kilos on Monday, I'm 79 kilos on Friday. I'm having a great week, my body weight is plummeting. I wake up on Sunday, 81 kilos. Still to this day, I, have, I get messages, maybe 10 messages a day, from my clients saying to me, oh my God, I've put on two kilos of fat. It, two kilos of fat. They, they, they might have been 81 three weeks ago. They're thinking, oh, I've gone back three weeks progress. You know, It's over, my body hates me, but all this rubbish. You cannot gain two kilos of legitimate body fat by going 1,500 calories over your deficit, okay? Think your maintenance is probably, what, 2,000 calories? This person is 1,000 calories over his maintenance. That is not two kilos of body fat, okay? We're looking at about half a kilo, or I'm sure you've heard one pound of fat equals around 3,500 calories, okay? This person has not gained two kilos. Now, what, what we need to think about is if we've gone from 80 kilos to 79 kilos, it's fair to say that me, this is for me, I'm in a depleted state here, yeah? I am empty on carbs, low on glycogen. So a lot of that weight that's coming back on is kind of replenishing. So it's fluid retention, water, and increasing carbohydrates. Remember that one gram of carbohydrates can hold around four grams of water, okay? So factor that in. You are not gone from 79 to 81. Realistically, you're looking at maybe a few hundred grams of legitimate body fat. But of course, we need to now burn it off. And it doesn't just come off like that. People think that they can do 10,000 steps a day and on Sunday after this binge, do 12,000 steps. And they say, well, I increased my step count, I walked more. You've not done enough. 
you've not done enough. It takes time for this food, water, carbs, salt to go through the system, okay? Now, how can we get rid of this weight as quickly and as safely as possible in a kind of sustainable manner, okay? We can drop calories. We could do, so we've gone 1,500 calories over here. 1,500, we've gone 1,500 over. Where can we make up for those 1,500 in the week? That's not gonna completely destroy you and make you feel terrible, okay? We can drop calories. I don't recommend fasting on Sunday and doing a zero calorie day. Although technically, if you just had water, that would kind of bring you back to square one. You're gonna be so hungry on Monday, you're gonna really struggle to stay here. Not what I'd recommend. Dropping calories throughout the week. What about if we did a thousand, a thousand, a thousand. That brings us back to the middle. Again, not easy to do. What about if we did 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, okay? If we went 1250 across the week, that might be a slightly more sustainable approach. If this is a female, okay, that 500 to 1250 might not be such an outrageous drop for a guy, it's, it's, it's not much food, okay? So that might be our answer, okay? we can drop calories or we can increase cardio. So we might say, hey, I wanna, you know, I wanna burn 250 calories. So I'm gonna do extra cardio here, 250, 250 across here. And that would give us our 1500. So we might say, I'm gonna do 30 minutes of cardio, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. 250 calories per session brings me back to the middle. Or this is my approach, we can do both. How about, we drop, you know, 125 calories out of Monday and burn 125 calories more. So we're only dropping to, you know, 1300 plus, 1350 or whatever here, 1375 on Monday. And then we only need to do maybe 10 minutes of extra cardio. Suddenly, ah, that's actually sustainable and I can run that for the whole week, okay? We can be more aggressive with it. We can go 250, 250, go 1250 calories, burn an extra 250. We only have to do it for maybe Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. Again, that's more sustainable. We can fast. So you can, what you can try and do is maybe on Friday and Sunday, you're gonna skip breakfast, fast for the first six hours of the day, and that way it would be a little bit easier to just do 1,000 calories and 1,000 calories. But again, and then you could maybe burn the extra 250 and 250 that way. There's so many different ways to do this. You can pull your carbohydrates out. So if you're doing three meals a day and a snack, um, we can pull our carbohydrates out. So we're still eating, maybe replace your carbohydrates, breads, pastas, potatoes, with uh, fibrous veggies. And that way, we're still getting a little bit of volume in our food, but uh, we're losing those calories there. Probably one of the easier ways to do it, okay? Especially on Sunday. You do not need much food on Sunday when you've just pulled 3,000 calories in the day before. You are full of food. And that, obviously, skipping meals, skipping breakfast, or skipping your last meal. Another thing you can do as well, which people, this is gonna hurt some people, is just fucking move on. Just forget about it. I had a bad week. I'm gonna start again on Monday. Okay, I had a shit Saturday. I'm back to my 1500 on Sunday. I'm just gonna accept that for that week, I didn't lose 1% of my body weight. I lost, you know, 0.25. I only lost a couple hundred grams. So what? Move on and forget about it. Do not beat yourself up and spiral and turn this into 3000 and then I'm just done. I can't be bothered to do it, okay? Everybody falls off plan. But the extreme methods like dropping down to, oh, I'm gonna fast all day, this stuff isn't really sustainable. You're much better off just maybe dropping 125 calories out across these days and burning an extra 125 calories. That can be an extra 3,000 steps. That can be 10 minutes of cardio post-workout. Keep it easy, keep it simple, okay? The day to drop your calories down low is gonna be this day, Sunday. Our goal here is to hydrate as much as possible if this was alcohol-induced calories. If this is just a binge, you're gonna be fine to have a lower calorie day. This is a day where you could really try and sit in a steep deficit because you're full of food. It's, it's, it's in your stomach, okay? And remember, that remember I said he's 79 kilos here and we've shot up to 81. Do not get married to the scales. Don't freak out. My recommendation to anybody watching this that has a blowout or falls off or a binge or a heavy night out on Saturday, 
Don't weigh yourself Sunday and Monday. Take a couple of days off the scale, get yourself back to normal with your training and your cardio, and then weigh yourself on Monday and go from there. You'll drop very, very quick. No one's perfect all the time, all year. We all, we all fall off.